Good morning, everybody. This is Melissa again. I'm going to come at you this morning um, just for a few minutes. i got to go um, do a couple errands in just a little bit, but I haven't done a video in a while. And um, today I just felt in inspired to just do a little bit of an um, encouragement video. I got up this morning and I've been working really, really hard um, at the gym. I've been working hard with my uh, meal um, plans. You know, I just haven't, I've just been watching pretty closely what I've been in eating and trying to really work on um, toning and, and just things like that. Um, so I, of course, weigh myself and then I also keep measurements and I have all along, but i um, kind of been at a standstill lately. You know, just the, the scale hadn't been moving a whole lot, but I, I'm not discouraged by that because I understand that when you're building muscle, you know, you, you might not lose, at, you may even gain, and I get that. So the inches and the way my clothes fit have been my um, telltales of what, what's going on with me. So I got up this morning and I measured, and I had measured about this time last month, about four weeks ago. And I was so, so excited because in a month, let me go grab my measurements, I'm gonna read them to you. In a month, okay, I have lost, from last month to this month, I had lost an inch in my waist, two inches around my belly, an inch in my rear end, and I had gained a half an inch in my arms where I have been working out my biceps, which Hell yeah, look at them guns. I'm so excited, guys. My size from the very beginning, um, all together in inches from the very beginning when I started this two years ago, it was actually March 27th, 2014 when I went first went to the gym the very first day, okay? From that day, I started out at 170 pounds. Now I am this morning 137. I have lost a total of 27 inches and give or take 35 pounds. It fluctuates, you know, 33, 35 pounds, whatever. And my jeans, the day that I started, I was in a pair of Levi's that were tight, 16, tight. I got in a size six the other day, guys. Mm -hmm. I'm 47, guys. This is the best shape I've ever been in my life. And I don't want to come across as conceited or haughty or whatever, but I am proud of what I've done. I, I feel so, I think this is the age where a lot of women just become aware of their worth. And I have finally found, figured that out. Finally figured out that I am worth doing this for myself. And I feel so much better. My mother even told me the other day, you stand, your posture is, is, you stand taller. Your posture is better. You hold yourself taller. And I'm thinking, I hadn't noticed that. But, you know, I understand why. Because I feel so much better about me. And I'm proud of what I've done. And I've, at 47, I'm proud of what I look like. And I've never been able to say that. And I just want to encourage someone whoever you are, it's never too late to start. You know, I know it's hard. It's very intimidating when you first get going because you don't even know where to begin. You know, you just don't know, what do I do? I tell you what, I just had to go and do something. I don't even, I didn't even have a plan. I didn't know what to do. I just knew I had to do something. So just start, you know, you'll get it. You start start doing some research online. The, the internet is full of, of wonderful tools to be able to help you with exercises, things for certain areas. Um, it, it just, you can, you can research it and study it. And there's so many people out there, um, especially through Instagram and those kind of social media sites that are so willing to give encouragement and help you with things and, and um, be like a support group kind of, you know. 
Mine, I actually can tell you, was it was something I did during the most um, one of the most horrific times emotionally in um, in my life. Um, we had such a tragedy happen in my family that just took me out from underneath myself. I I was literally knocked breathless for for many many months, um, going on to well over two years now. I can honestly say in the last six months I've been better. But those two years, um, if it had not been for me being able to go to that gym, work out my frustrations, and just feel my, um, just get in touch with, with my feelings and just be about me. And there were days I cried. I would be in that gym crying as I'm working out. And I know those people in there probably were thinking, my God, what is wrong with her? She's losing her mind, you know, she's having a breakdown. But I just had to get through it and I worked it out and it had helped me and it has helped me so much. And I'm even on days where I'm still very stressed and I feel like I got to get there, I got to go. And it helps work out every frustration. It helps you feel so much better. And especially when you start seeing results and feeling like I feel so much better about me. Guys, I just wanna encourage you. If you are stuck, you don't know where to start, you just feel like you're bleh. I didn't, I felt like that for years. I felt bleh. I look at pictures and I thought, my God, how can you, how could you do that to yourself? Why did you do that to yourself? And I remember looking at the, remember feeling those days like, oh my gosh, I don't feel I didn't feel pretty, I felt ugly, I felt frumpy, I felt ashamed of myself, I didn't want to, I didn't, I, I couldn't make, I, it was hard for me to make eye contact with people. I can't even really begin to explain those years and how I felt during that time, but I know I feel different now because I've decided I'm worth something and I'm worth putting those days and hours in at the gym that I, that I go to every week. And it's not selfish. Anybody that tells you it is, they're selfish because they don't want you becoming better. They want you to stay in the mess that you're in because that's where they've trapped, where you feel trapped and you feel helpless. And when you become strong and find out your worth, you may decide, you know, that you don't want to be with that person or you may not want to be in that situation. Um, it's a form of control on their end if they're being selfish about it. So decide you're worth it, guys. I mean, seriously, it's worth it. I'm just telling you, it's worth it. You will feel so much better. You'll, you're, you'll be healthier. I'm sure you will add years to your life. Um, if, you're, if you're worried about finances, yeah, it's, it, it's cost a little bit to go, you know, at membership cost, but Think about how every week, you know, what do you spend on food, fast food? What do you spend on um, beverages? Mm, I'm gonna probably step on a few toes, maybe Starbucks. Um, those who smoke, your cigarettes. God, those are, like you could buy a house in a year with what you spend on those. Um, so what better way to invest yourself? So you guys, just, Love yourself. Count yourself worthy. My husband just pulled in and my dogs are going crazy, so I got to go. So y'all have a wonderful day. Love you.